In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Blessed be our Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be sweet Mother Virgin Mary, our beloved Mother Tomb. A very interesting reading today in the book of Numbers, where the king of Moab asks the prophet Biliam to curse the people of Israel. The king of Moab is, has fear before the people of Israel. So he asked him to curse the people. And as much that be, as Biliam wants to curse the people of God, as much God is revealing him how much this people is blessed. So we are reading these interesting words. The utterance of Balaam, son of Beor, the utterance of the man whose eye is true, the utterance of one who hears what God says, and knows what the Most High knows, of one who sees what the Almighty sees, enraptured and with eyes unveiled. How goodly are your tents, O Jacob, your encampments, O Israel. And he's still more blessing the people of Israel as we continue the reading. Dear brothers and sisters, this is very interesting. With his, closed, with his open eyes, he must close the eyes before the terrible things happening before him, just as we must close, almost close eyes before the terrible things happening before us. But with our inner eyes, God is revealing us his truth, as he did to Balaam. So may God enlighten our eyes for the truth of God, so that we may know the ways of God and with his power and strength, follow the word of God and his ways. May God, by the intercession of Virgin Mary and her Immaculate Heart, inspire and unveil the truth of God to all the responsible people in our world, in church, in medicine, politics, so that the will of God and the truth of God may be recognized for the best of all mankind, in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, a blessed day to each one of us.